In this upcoming video presentation, I will be conducting a detailed and informative demonstration of the fundamental principles governing illumination, with a special emphasis on the inverse square law and the Lambert cosine law. These two laws play pivotal roles in understanding how light intensity varies with distance and angle, making them essential concepts for anyone interested in the science of illumination. Illumination Illumination refers to the process of providing light to a space or area, often for the purpose of visibility, safety, aesthetics, or functionality. It involves the deliberate placement of light sources, fixtures, or luminaires to achieve specific lighting goals. Illumination is a critical aspect of various fields and applications, including architecture, interior design, photography, cinematography, engineering, and more. Illumination is the deliberate use of light to achieve practical or aesthetic effect. Lightning includes the use of both artificial and natural resources. When light falls on a surface, it becomes visible. It is denoted by E. An unit of illumination is meter candle or lumen per square meter or LUX. Formula of illumination is E equals phi divided by area. Electrical lightning has following advantages, cleanliness, easy to control, easy to handle, steady output, better reliability, suitable for almost all purposes economical. Terms used in illumination, light, that part of radiant energy from a hot body to produce visual sensation on human eye is called light, luminous flux, is that portion of total radiant power that is capable of affecting the sense of sight. The unit of luminous flux is lumen. And it is denoted by, lumen, one lumen is the luminous flux emitted per unit solid angle from a point source of one candle power, candle power, the light radiating capacity of a source is called candle power, luminous intensity, luminous intensity in any particular direction is the luminous flux emitted by the source per unit solid angle in that direction denoted by I. Unit is candela. LUX. One meter candle or lux is defined as the illumination produced by a uniform source of one candle power on the inner surface of a sphere of radius one meter. Laws in illumination, illumination on the surface depends on, luminous intensity, distance between the source and surface, direction of rays of light, there are two laws of illumination, inverse square law, cosine law. Inverse square law, in physics, an inverse square law is any physical law stating that an intensity is inversely proportional to the square of the distance from the source of that physical quantity. Formula of inverse square law is given below, irradiance is inversely proportional to square of distance, let's suppose the at distance of 1 meter the irradiance is p. If distance is increased to 2 meters, the irradiance is reduced 4 times. Similarly if the distance is increased to 3 meters the irradiance is reduced to 9 times and so on. For example, if the illuminance on a surface is 40 lux at a distance of 0.5 meters from the light source, the illuminance decreases to 10 lux at a distance of 1 meter, as shown in the following figure. Lux meter, the lux is the SI unit of illuminance and luminous emittance, measuring luminous flux per unit area. It is equal to 1 lumen per square meter. In photometry, this is used as a measure of the intensity, as perceived by the human eye, of light that hits or passes through a surface to perform these measurements. Technicians often make use of lux meters, which are specialized devices that measure the intensity of light falling on a surface, or lux. Lambert's cosine law states that the radiant intensity or luminous intensity of light reflected from a perfectly diffuse or Lambertian surface is directly proportional to the cosine of the angle between the incident light direction and the surface normal. In mathematical terms, it can be expressed on right-hand side, where E theta is the intensity of the reflected light, E is the intensity of the incident light, theta is the angle between the incident light direction and the surface normal. Key points about Lambert's cosine law, perfect diffuse reflection, this law assumes that the surface reflects light perfectly diffusely, meaning that light is scattered uniformly in all directions rather than being specularly, mirror-like, reflected, angle dependency, the intensity of reflected light is directly proportional to the cosine of the angle of incidence. As the angle of incidence increases, 
approaching 90 degrees, or perpendicular to the surface, the intensity of reflected light decreases, conservation of energy, Lambert's cosine law ensures that the total energy, radiant or luminous flux, is conserved because it accounts for the spreading of light over a larger area as the angle of incidence increases. Applications, in photography and cinematography, controlling illumination is essential for achieving the desired exposure and mood in photographs and videos, in architecture and interior design, lighting design is crucial for creating functional and aesthetically pleasing spaces, in industrial and commercial settings, proper illumination is necessary for safety, productivity, and energy efficiency. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. If you found it enjoyable, please consider hitting the like button, leaving a comment sharing your thoughts about the content, and sharing it with your friends. If you're interested in more videos related to electrical engineering, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Your support is greatly appreciated.